Hi there, I'm Dr. Albert Chung. Welcome to Your Friendly Proctologist. Thank you for hobbling or accidentally happening upon this space. And if you're returning again, welcome to you. So I want to talk to you about stool softeners because you've noticed that I do a lot of, well, I've covered it quite a bit, but many have been asking, what is the difference between Colace and Miralax? And secondly, can I use them together? And Colace, Miralax are ones that have been studied extremely well, and they're both safe to use long term. <clears throat> Just remember with the Colace, be very careful to pick the one that's 100% Colace. Some things may, or some companies make this stuff, this Colace, mixed with Senna, S E N N A. That is not safe to take for the long term, and please do not use that stuff every day. The second thing I want to mention before we get into the topic is please make sure with your medical doctor that your constipation or whatever GI issue you're having is something that is not from, like, God forbid, cancer, God forbid, any other digestive issue, okay? Because these stool softeners can mask those problems and your primary issue may be going undiscovered. So make sure that you get the proper evaluation done by your doctors. Okay, so Colace, what is it? It's a chemical, the medication actually will surround water in our poop in order to trap it in our poop. That's kind of how it works. It's similar to something like in hand soap, okay? And the word that they use in Google is surfactant. And so the chemical in soap works very similar in that it will surround itself around the dirt particles. And that's how it kind of will, once it comes off your hand, it traps it in there so it doesn't get stuck back onto your hand again. And then it washes down into the sink. So the poop stays soft because the water is trapped and is held in the poop, okay? What about Miralax? Well, Miralax is a laxative. <clears throat> So what it does is it will draw, it will keep water in your poop, but also push it forward. And how it keeps the water in is through osmosis. So it pulls the water from our body into the intestine, and that's how it keeps the water content high in our poop. And then it also will propel your stool forward. So things like constipation or things moving slowly, the Miralax can be very helpful for that, okay? And of course, <clears throat> in terms of using these, I usually recommend people try the Colace first. Why? Because it just softens things up. It doesn't push things forward. So if you find that that's not quite <clears throat> working out for you, some people it doesn't work at all. They don't notice anything. Then go to number two, which is Miralax. But I recommend that you stop the collates and switch completely over to Miralax, okay? I do have videos on how to take Miralax, and so <clears throat> I won't go into that here. But Miralax, in my opinion, is kind of the next level up because it also pushes your poop forward, okay? And plus, the higher doses that you take of the Miralax, the more looser the stools can get or softer. Uh, and the softer is what you are looking for. So what about taking them together, Dr. Chung? Will I get the best of both worlds? I get the surfactant action of the Coley's. I get the osmosis and the pushing forward of the Miralax. Wouldn't that be the best thing? And I say no. Why? It's not because these two medications will interact and cause harmful damage to you. They won't, okay? They'll both work in their own respective ways and produce whatever poop may come out. But sometimes your poop can get very loose if you're adding multiple agents together. And the other thing is that we want to build a habit for the rest of our lives, right? The whole purpose is here. We want to build something that we can do every day to expect a soft poop 95 to 100% of the time. And so if we're taking a lot of medications, a lot of supplements, eating this specific diet, doing this, doing that, it kind of gets cumbersome, 
gets really tired and old fast. You know, if we could just take one thing to soften our poop, that's far better than two separate things. You know, it makes our life less cluttered, less stresses you out less. And if it's and if one thing gives you that soft poop result, then that's perfect. And I think that you don't need to overcomplicate things. And usually one or the other is going to be plenty. Again, consult your doctor, make sure that the amount is appropriate and what you're doing is appropriate for your body. And I hope this tip helped you. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.